Hey everyone, this is Nick from Cometa Camera, and today we're going to put Sony's tough series of SD cards to the test. Now, according to Sony, these are the most durable SD cards on the market. They're waterproof, dustproof, shockproof, and they're able to function in a wide range of temperatures. So my plan is to submit this little card to a torture test and see how much punishment it can really take. Now, as you can see, I've already put a mark on this card, C-A-M for Cometa, so that we know it's the same one throughout this video. And I'll even take a picture using this card and my trusty A6300 so that we have an image to review every time we put the card in the camera. Now, this is all 100% legit. There are no stunt cards, no sneaky edits or anything like that. I'm just gonna put this card through the ringer and see what happens. Let's get started. All right, first, Sony says that these cards are completely waterproof because they're made with a one-piece molded construction and they don't have any seams or anything for water to infiltrate. And that's good news for me because occasionally I've left an SD card in my pocket and I don't find that SD card until it's been through the wash. So I'm gonna take this tough card, put it in my jeans pocket and put it through a rinse cycle and see if the card survives. Happy trails. All right, I think that's about enough. It's been in there for about 20 minutes. So I'm just gonna take that card out and see if it survived. Oof. It's wet. Let's see if the card is still in the pocket. It is. All right, as you can see, so far, no worse for wear. I'll dry that off and put that into my camera and see if it still works. And we should be able to see that image that I took before when we were in the studio. There it is. So the Sony Tough SD card as good as new, even when it goes through the wash. So Sony also claims that these cards can withstand extreme temperatures, everything from negative 14 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 185 degrees. Now, we don't have anything that cold or that hot here in the office, but I do have a digital thermometer and a big bowl of ice. So I'm gonna put this SD card into the ice along with a thermometer, stick it in the freezer, and see if it can withstand those extreme temperatures probably colder than anything you'd be working in. All right, that's gonna be its home for the next hour or so. And into the freezer it goes. And we'll see just how cold we can make it and see if it still works afterwards. All right, it's been exactly an hour and we've got our thermometer down to 10 degrees. It's not exactly negative 14, but it's pretty darn cold. So let's get this tough card out of the freezer and give it a try. All right. There she is. A little icy, but not too bad. All right. Just wipe it off so I don't get ice inside my camera. It's probably not built for that. All right, and back to the A6300. I'm gonna put my card inside, keep my fingers crossed. And as you can see, picture loads right up. And I'll even take a burst of photos and they're all writing right to the card, just as they should. All right, so it's waterproof, and we found out that it's freeze-proof too. But can this card be used in extremely hot temperatures? Well, I'm about to find out with this, my lovely pink Revlon hairdryer. So I'm gonna put this card 
the trusty cam card right next to this temperature probe. Again, I've got my digital thermometer nearby, and let's see how hot we can get this thing within reason. This may take a while. Okay, okay, I don't want to push my luck. Apparently this card is well done. So, I'm going to try it out. <laughs> <It's hot. laughs> and uh, see if it works, even in the hottest of temperatures, because this is way hotter than any place you're going to find on the surface of the Earth. Straight into the A6300. Well, I took a big burst. Ah, there it is. And it works. <laughs> Roasted to 180 degrees, and it works just fine. So this little guy has been through a lot already, but Sony also claims that these cards can withstand dust and grime and other contaminants. Incidentally, I've dropped a few cards in the dirt over the years, and when that happens, grit can get into the little crevices and mess up the right protect switch. And the last thing you want to do is put a dirty card in your camera. And you normally wouldn't want to just wash it off, of course. But a tough card like this one should be able to handle a little dirt. And I can't think of a dirtier, dustier, and on a rainy day, muddier place than a chicken coop. So I'm going to take this tough SD card and some of my chicken's favorite snack, and I'm going to let them have at it. Here you go, ladies. All right, so after about 10 minutes or so of scratching around and pecking at this SD card, I'm ready to give it a test. So I'm just gonna clean it off and use a bottle of water. Dry it off. And once again, pop it into my trusty A6300. Lo and behold, it works. Even chickens can't put a dent in this card. All right, so this card has been practically frozen, put through the wash, subjected to severe heat, and it's even been dragged around in the dirt by poultry. And surprisingly, it still looks pretty good. But one of the main features of this card is because it has one piece ribless construction and no right protect switch, is that it's much stronger with shock resistance and 18 times the bend resistance of normal SD cards. So what does that mean? It means this torture test isn't over yet. Oops. Oops. Thing. We've hit it with hammers, we've dunked it underwater, we've had chicken scratch at it, and now I've just run it over with a three-ton car. I guess the only thing we can do now is test it out. I'm just going to wipe it off to keep my camera safe, but I have a feeling that it's going to work just fine. This is the moment of truth. Uh-oh. Did we break it? I think that was the final straw. So, if we, ladies and gentlemen, don't run over your memory card with a car. Well, 
This little card was able to survive all of our torture tests until we decided to run it over with a 4,000 pound car. Now this is the same exact card from the beginning. There's just a tiny little bit of red on there right next to a nice crack that we put on there when we ran it over. So yes, it did finally give up the ghost, but it performs pretty, pretty well. Now let's be real here. You're never going to bash your card with a hammer, and if you're in sub-freezing or extremely hot temperatures, your camera or your battery, or more likely you, will probably run into issues before any SD card does. But if you shoot outdoors a lot, if you change cards all the time, if you have a habit of spilling things, then investing a little bit more into a seriously reliable card might be a good idea. Now this card is also x-ray proof and magnet proof, anti-static, although we can't really test those things here. And it's also really fast for both stills and video. So while the average photographer might never need a card this durable, a lot of professionals who make a living with these things might find it worthwhile for that extra peace of mind. And now it's time to take our little friend here for a much deserved rest. He's so young. <laughs> <laughs> and action. Oh, are you okay? Nick, come on, man. I wasn't trying to kick you in your face. <laughs> right in the eye, dude. Oh.